Welcome back, everyone. It's a tier 5 game, and yes, I'm in my T49. So, it's standard mode. We are on Erlenberg, sometimes called Derpenberg. Time to roll out. Derp. And we are going to see a, metal, a uh, game in which I achieve a first for me. It only took 3,800 and some odd games for me to finally win this one coveted medal. But here I go. So, take a good hard look at the mini-map. What's wrong with this picture? That's right. Even though my team, according to the other team, is actually, has an something like an 80% win chance. I'm not sure exactly, of course. I don't have XVM. Um, my team is doing the whole lemming train thing. Myself and the other T4 team are the only people going west. They're coming down here to T49 corner to chill and wait for targets. Meanwhile, the rest of our team is all rolling up the pass on the east side. Oh dear. Well, I sure as I can't go on forward first. And frankly, with just the two of us, we two T49s are better off just hanging out back here. However, enemy tank, enemy team members have uh, have gone down the center and have discovered just how naked my whole team is. But first victim, M7. Gotcha. All right, he's down. <coughs> so that helped prevent some of the flanking attack on the rest of my team. The enemy T-49s have realized their good fortune. My entire team has bottled themselves up in one very small part of the map. The other T-49s has gotten sick of sitting here. It looks like he's going to do a little scouting, so I'm going to try and cover him. And that's when the Panzer 1C platoon decides to strike. You can see him streaking across the east side of the map. There's also a DW-2 down there. The other team's t 4 n is celebrating because it looks like it'll be an easy win for his team. Start picking off another heavy tank here. Well, okay, my first heavy tank, my second opponent. The other T-49 has discovered that apparently the enemy team has all turned in to try and uh, surround them. Some of them have already made it to the base. At this point, I say to myself, oh, for crying out loud. And they go pushing out to the middle of this field, which normally would be a really silly idea, but, well, it's still a silly, bit of a silly idea now. But frankly, some need to start getting shots on these scouts. Need to get them out of play. There we go. Ah, missed them. And spotted. Well, there's a couple artillery in play, so I'm going to move around to make myself a harder target. And move for a new location. <coughs> Ooh, KV-1. He needs to be taken out quickly. LT-49 sounds like he's already engaging him. So actually, I'm going to come this way. I can't shoot him from here. I'm going to try and help him out, because, yeah, the key if you want to shoot him back, he needs help. This bush right here looks like a good place to engage from. Oop, spotted. Need to get out of here. Oh, Panzer 1C behind me. That's really dangerous. See, there's an M4 threatening the T-49, but I really got to kill this Panzer 1C off first. There he goes. You need to die. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Thank you. Okay. Take that one out. Rush back towards our T-49. I'm going to try and get this M4 off of him. Yeah, he's running away from the M4. <coughs> There's the M4. Hold still, comrade. M4 is quick enough to get under some hard cover. LT49 goes charging in. That has gotten way too close to a M4 with a howitzer. And will pay the penalty. Hmm, 710. Odds not looking too good. And the other team still has two T49s with a whole bunch of kills. 
So this is really dangerous. Alright. Arm 4 is out. T-49s are definitely the biggest threats remaining. Need to go find and kill them. Somehow. Oh, there's one. I'm way too far away to take advantage of the martyr spotting, though. I don't quite know what this, DW, this D2 is trying to do by coming this way, but I guess he can act as a flank guard for me while I move to try and defeat the important enemies. Huh. I'm too late to rescue any of my other teammates over here. And if I expose myself to help protect the arty, I know too well that I'm not going to be able to get away. Because the river will be in the way. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to hide right here where I can cover the cap zone. And try to ambush the enemy as they, as they, get, as they arrive. The danger here is, of course, there's no hard cover around here. Um, I need to only be using my, relying on my mobility to uh, keep me alive as opposed to cover once uh, I'm finally spotted. And I will be spotted. Yep, there they go. Tank destroyers moving in on the arty. Nope. No chance of getting a shot there. So we move back into concealment. Oh, one T-49 spotted. Die. Oh, now I'm alone. There's the other T-49. Ow. Ow. Okay. Time to leave. That was one of the artilleries, probably the Panzer shooting at me. There's a Panzer 2G. He's no big deal. Yeah, I'm going to get away from him, get out of his view range. And wait, T-82 on the minimap. Where, where? Oh, it's on my left. Oh, gosh. Turn, 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 turn. Get the gun on him, get the gun on him. Oh, missed him. Must out, turn, giant howitzer of death. Die. Thank you. Okay, I'm spotted. I need to remain evasive, remain evasive. Artillery and other things might be looking... Yes, someone's shooting at me. Go evasive. Okay. I should be hitting again. Head towards the cap. And stop the moment you see anything. Like that. Ah, two enemies on the cap circle. Wait for the Kim Seal. Camo net. There it is. It's up. Alright, one down. Panzer 2G. Hmm, he's being smarter. He's hiding behind cover. Oh, he's the last combat tank left on any team, so long as I'm careful not to get spotted. Wait for the camo net. Mm, nope, he's still really well concealed. Looks like... Yeah, he's really well concealed. But he knows he's being shot at. You can see him turning and try and minimize his target profile. Let's run up right to the red line here. Swoop. There's the shot I need. Wait, once again for the camo net. Awesome. Oh, up to nine kills. You know, I've never gotten a pools medal before, and there's two other enemy artillery left on the other team. Looks like it's time to w win me a new medal. Just as long as I can avoid being derped by one of these two, or either of these two artilleries. Either one can easily one-shot me. So we're gonna. So they know I'm attacking from the west side of the cap. So I am going to move east, and I'm going to advance up the east side of the map, hoping to catch the artillery by surprise. <sighs> whoop, whoop, already spotted, already spotted. It's the very dangerous bison with a gigantic gun. Oh, I missed him. Can't afford to miss too many of those. I'm running kind of low on ammo. Still not spotted. I love this tank. So sneaky. Alright, I have five and three quarters minutes to hunt down and kill a Panzer Zufel B thing. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the German tier four artillery. One of them. It's got a, it's semi-targeted, which makes it a little dangerous, but it's also very, very slow. So if I can just find it, and I'm not in front of it. Absolutely no problem once over killing it.
Gotta stop here in a bush for a moment and exult over getting my first Bulls medal. Because frankly, that's exciting and worth celebrating. Win or lose, I got the pools. I got 10 kills. All right. <coughs> Time for T49 to do the T49 thing. Where could RD be hiding? So at this point, I'm thinking, all right, at about the two-minute mark, I have to turn around and head towards the cap circle and start capping, even if he's still alive, no matter how dangerous it is, because I kind of want to win this one. I'm not sure how far away he could be sitting while I'm capping and still get back in time to take a shot at me. So I'm checking all the nearby hiding spaces. Over there, over there, could be hiding the buildings. Over there, so let's go check over there. I'm spotted. Whoa, there he is, there he is, there he is. Let's hope he's not aimed this way. He is. Hide, 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 hide. Okay. He's now one shot. And if he's there, so have I. Reverse direction and come this way. Oh, there he's again. Ah, he spotted me again. All right, well, we'll just not too sneaky. Try it out tactics him. Just come up here where he can't shoot. Make it look like I'm going to go that way. Turn. Go this way as fast as I can. Now he can definitely see me, and yeah, he's facing the other way. Oh, what do you mean that wasn't a one shot? Die. Awesome. 11 kills is a new high for me in any tier. An excellent game overall, particularly for me. My first pools medal. Another Calabanos medal. Defender. Top gun. And high caliber. Just an all around excellent match, my T49. And now for some post-game stats. So here are the post-game stats for that one. Mastery badge, of course. That was my daily double for 4,254 experience. I had a very nice 41,536 credits. Kalbanoff's medal, Pools medal, Top Gun, Defender, High Caliber. Look at that list of tanks. That isn't even all of them. There's another one, a couple of them off the bottom there that I engaged and or destroyed, mostly destroyed, uh, right there. Uh, for once, I've actually taken a picture of the whole garage. You can check out just how crazy my T49 crew is. Uh, unfortunately, I covered up all my usual stats in there for the things I've got in there. But I can tell you right now, there's 105 octane fuel, there's Coca-Cola, and there's a small repair kit in my other slots. Uh, coated optics, gun rammer, and uh, a camo net uh, in my equipment slots so that you too can see how crazy this is. I'll let you figure out what crew skills all that is up there, but you can see it's a lot. So... Um, only 148 spotting damage, which or, or assistance damage, which is not surprising because I only had to do 2,277 damage by myself in the Tier 5 game. There wasn't many people left spotting for me. Moving on to the next one. Yes. 1,418 base experience, 2,000 damage. My next highest person was the Churchill, who got 600 experience. T you know, the T49 team got 751. Hey, no, not bad round for you, buddy. Uh, rest of team mostly just skunked out, unfortunately. Enemy team, hey, look at that. T49 on top. 835 damage, very nice. The other T49 got 1,292 damage, also very nice. Uh, the Panzer 1C platoon had a good match. And the rest of the enemy team was kind of like, what's going on? Because, you know, they were being eaten by T49. Uh, the poor the poor fellows. I, I think a lot of people underestimate the T49. They look at its stats, they see this 
um, unarmored thing with only meh mobility. I don't think they realize just how gun it really is because they see that that iffy accuracy of I think it's like point four one. It's kind of kind of miserable. Um, they think, oh, what's a gun that can't hit anything? Well, actually, the gun is pretty accurate at medium range, and this tank can remain invisible at medium range. So that's where you want to try and get to. You want to get to about 300 yards where the bad, where the meh accuracy uh, is not so much a big deal, and you can just smush things. Going to the final page for uh, for the stats, 42 shots fired, 28 direct hits, terrible accuracy, but all 28 did penetrate for 2,277 damage. More than 1,124 is actually at twice um, the standard, the recommended engagement distance for the T-49. So I get that's why I was missing so much because I was shooting from so far away. Took nine hits. Thankfully, most of those were from a Panzer 1C. Um, as a result, most of them didn't. Most of them bounced or did very little damage. Only took actually one serious hit from an enemy T-49. Uh, as you can see, damage blocked by armor, 24. Yeah, those are the, all those Panzer 1C bullets just bouncing off of me. Only spotted three vehicles. Not surprised, uh, but. Damaged 12 of the enemy tanks. That means I engaged nearly the entire team. And of those 12 I get damaged, I actually destroyed 11 of them. Um, I also got 105 base defense points. Traveled six and a third kilometers. Long way to go. Um, would have made 40, only made 41,000 credits normally, but there was a nice event going on for the on track to the e, to the T110E4, which the T49 does lead to. So I got an extra uh, big credit bonus, which helped bring uh, my credit final credit takings to 62,000. Even after my expenses were taken out, I still made a very nice, almost 58,000 credit profit. Yes. And then, um, yeah, um, just lots and lots of experience. So I hope you all enjoyed that game. Uh, I feel it was, I don't know if it was my very best game performance-wise yet, but the fact that I got my, my first pools medal, I mean, I feel it was worth a video. Good game, and good night. <laughs>